I've literally had people in restaurants stop what they were doing to ask me what perfume I am wearing because that siage literally through the streets of Turkey, he was smelling me the whole time. This video is going to be my top most complimented fragrances of last year and of 2024. And yes, 2024 has just started, but I've already been getting compliments on my fragrances, especially now that I am like upping my game. I am layering like a beast. My fragrance hobby is kind of kicking off for me. And I'm now on TikTok, so you guys can follow me there. I literally love TikTok because it's like this unscripted version of myself that I get to now show you guys. All right, so let's jump into the video. This perfume, for me, it's also very special because it was at the very beginning of my perfume journey. I was in this store, it's kind of similar to Macy's, it was in southern Germany. I was in the perfume section, I was just looking for perfumes and this American woman came up to me. We started chatting and then she was just like, yeah, I'm a perfume guru, I know everything about perfumes, you need this, 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 this. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this and this because everything is too, it's too much, but I'm gonna get these two and we will see. This perfume that I'm about to show you is one of the perfumes that she recommended. It is by girl lane so this is the perfume i'm not gonna butcher the name it is i believe in the 30 milliliters and how she described this perfume is that it is an aphrodisiac she was like your man will hunt you down this is that perfume and when i got it i was like wow she's right i smelt it in the store it's amazing. I'm gonna put the notes on the screen because I'm just gonna be describing how these perfumes make me feel rather than what it smells like. But this kind of smells like a very expensive woman, like a very expensive woman. And it kind of gives me this like black and white feel. Like if you're watching black and white TV and you see a woman with like her hair in waves and she's in this beautiful dress, waist snatched, the screen is black and white she's wearing this perfume and this is just that sexy perfume. I love it so much. Next perfume that I wanna show you guys is from Byredo and I have quite a few Byredos, but I'm only gonna talk about this one because I've had already two compliments in Berlin about this fragrance. So this is Slow Dance. Slow Dance to me, it's a powerful woman. It is a sexy woman. Like that is the vibe that I'm getting. This scent, when I say it lasts for like two days on me it lasts for two days it's almost too much you know what i mean it's almost like i actually want this to be gone on the next day i want to wear a different perfume but it is such a beautiful very strong scent i always wear this when i go shooting because it gives me like I don't know this energy that I can do it that I, I don't know take a bomb picture but I love this scent and I've gotten quite a few compliments on this because I've also worn it to the office and people are just like girl what are you doing what are you wearing mind you these are all strangers and they want to know what I'm wearing next fragrance that I want to talk about is replica by the fireplace now you can see look at that dent first of all the color of this is just beautiful I love perfumes this color but the dent is insane. This was at the beginning of my perfume journey when I lived in Southern Germany. I had like, I had like 10 perfumes. Half of those were still from high school that I literally dragged all the way across the waters all the way to Germany and I didn't even wear them anymore. The other half were replica. I don't know why I was obsessed with them. And By the Fireplace was one of those that I wore every single day to work. And when I say my office smelt, my office smelt like this for days like if you go into my office it was just smelling like by the fireplace people thought it was a air freshener or they thought i left some air plug in the room but it was really just my essence of being in that room for eight hours a day and it just left a lingering scent so for that i will always and forever cherish by the fireplace because it always gets me compliments it projects and it leaves this sillage around me that everybody can smell the next one i recently discovered i had to get again a small bottle but i recently discovered it and it is going to be the ysl libre this is delay perfume i will just give you a little backstory i smelled the original ysl libre and i was like 
okay and then i saw more reviews that they have like the intense they have the perfume they have le perfume they have extreme and i was like okay let me try to smell those so this one is le perfume and i think before this there is like the platinum one or something like that but this one is quite strong the juice is quite dark this is just a masterpiece in a bottle the regular libre it smells very heavy on the lavender and i don't know something about it just isn't working well with my chemistry but this one i don't even know what's in it but it's just so sensual like i smell the lavender as well but something else about it i feel like there's even a little vanilla in here it just smells amazing the next one is also quite new in my collection but i've already gotten compliments from my partner and he loves this on me this girly soft but a smell that projects and a smell that leaves a trail he loves it that is maison mataha escapade gourmand if you are a perfume hobbyist you would have definitely seen this perfume around i had to get my hands on it it's this beautiful soft burnt creme brulee type of scent i'm getting deep vanilla but also this sweetness of creme brulee and in one of my shorts i mentioned that this kind of reminds me of kaali vanilla 28 which it still does but that differentiator is this like sugary burnt creme brulee which is on top it is such a beautiful scent so i might be a little evil for this one because not a lot of people can get this unless you travel to turkey i am going to be talking about this perfume here it's called dolma bache i hope i'm pronouncing that right by this turkish house called emisa i was in turkey last year we stopped at a few perfume stores and we found emisa and i just like sampled all of their perfumes and i kept on coming back to this one left the store did other things was still smelling myself my partner was like you're smelling like a vanilla bakery right now because that siage literally through the streets of turkey he was smelling me the whole time and i was like okay we need to go back i need to get this perfume so i got it and it is a vanilla bomb like a sweet vanilla sexy bomb i wouldn't say it's your straight vanilla it's more of this sweet sugar type of vanilla it's so so beautiful so so beautiful soft but sexy and sugary i do kind of have a dupe for you which kind of smells a little identical michael kors midnight shimmer that's also heavy on the vanilla and i think they smell quite identical so i hope you guys enjoyed this video Video. I'm gonna try to do more sit down videos. I'm gonna try to do more videos in general. If you have any other ideas or any questions regarding any of the perfumes that I talked about, please comment below. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are staying well, started the year right, and I look forward to seeing you in some other videos.